Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Gosh, it is cold this morning. But anyway, my lovelies, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Um, I'll give you a quick flip through of this um, journal that's completed. These are the two I've made. Now, this can be made bigger. Just be mindful you're going to be threading through that. And I'm thinking of actually making this a little bit more chunkier. I just think it will look really well. Um, I don't know. Like, you can keep adding, guys. Literally. Because all you need to do is... Um, I'm thinking now, you add it to the other piece and then thread them through, which will bring them to here. So you'd end up with three notches there. But anyway, they're the two we did. They're not decorated. Um, this is the one that's decorated, and I'm going to show you before we start decorating at least the front. Um there it is there. And I normally add more things as I see fit, you know, um, with these types of things. Um, you make pockets at the back, whatever it may be. Now, I'm going to use Tim Holtz, guys, because I find I don't always use Tim Holtz. So there's journaling cards. I added quite a bit to this. All right. And I love these pockets, but you've got to reinforce them. A tuck spot there. And I decorated that. And then I've got a tag in there. Which I love. And what would be helpful too, which I didn't do in the, those ones, then there's a tab. Right? I love tabs in my journals. And I need to put one of these um, things in that. There's an um, envelope in there. Look, I fit it heaps in this. And this one is a, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, by four, I think. So, you know, you can use any size envelopes. You can use... Um, anything really um to decorate these now in this one i got these in there that's a tim holtz i believe not 100 percent, but i believe that's what it is and i love it because when you ink them they're grungy and they look good and i used um What's this called again? Ledger paper. A little flip out. And I love the tab look. You know, like you can leave them blank. You don't even have to decorate them and use them as a writing journal. And turn over. And then in here, you've got all sorts of stuff. I love adding those swatches to anything but look at all this so I've added heaps heaps and heaps to it it just looks cool you know what I mean and then there's that page So you can just add anything to them once you've completed them. I added a fair bit of Tim Holtz bits and pieces and whatever. And I made these into tucks, these that reinforce. Um, there. And then there's this one. I like that. I should have done that to the others. And well, I haven't um, think so. I can do that. And what it does, it thins out that centre, so it gives you more room. So we'll do that. And then I add little tabs, right? And that's why I like my pockets to be a bit shorter too, 
because I like the tabs showing out. That's got a tab on it. They just look cute. And then you're using that as your tuck spot. Um, and this thing is, is like a booklet. Journal card. I just put it there because I like the look of it. And then there's a prayer one. That should be that way. And then you can see the gold poking out. Then I added these. And I backed everything, right? So it's extremely chunky. Added a bit of lace to the top of the um, envelope. This is going to give you some ideas. I've added stickers. Then there's another journal card. Journaling card and tag. It's quite cute. So you can add as many pages as you want. I kept those small because... I wanted to, um, you know, show you what we could do. And when you haven't got pockets and you only got tuck spots, you can add little pieces of ephemera. I use Tim Holtz again. And then the, in the back here, I think I've got a journal card. Yeah, it's stuck right in. It should be out like that, right? Love them, love them, love them. That actually feels a bit damp. Um it's a pretty damp day today, and that's probably why. Oh, there's more in that. <laughs> I always tuck heaps, guys. Where is it? That's right in there. Holy moly. Oh, it's a bit wet, the envelope. I'll take that out. It's a bit wet, unless I dropped something on it and I didn't realise, you know. There you go. Colour swatches. I'll let that dry, but that's supposed to be poking out that way. And then you've got the tab. Doesn't that look good with tabs? And you can move them around, you know, said so they. And it just looks cute. And there's the spine. So let's go ahead and fix this. So wherever you've got. I oh, can't do it because I didn't do them front to front, did I? I know I've done some pockets. Whoops. This is the problem. you got to let the tape dry, the fabric dry. There you go. Because you do. And then we might just start. Uh, see here. Oh, I stuck them down, didn't I? This one. Oh, no, I didn't. I don't think I did. I just think. Anyway, what we're going to do, because we want it to have... So you just take that away. So that way it gives you that flexibility to pack it up. You know what I mean? Same with this one. So you do it away. And then you can just shorten it as little as you want so I knew there was a reason why I didn't stick them down so that's quite cute and here's another one let's get down will you see the pencil marking that's what I, I, I score mine before I do them right okay so this is fix this journal I think we we'll just cut that away. Okay. There, now you've got room. Now, I'll explain something to you. If you want to go bigger, like, say you wanted to do a page or envelope that is this big, and you want it to tab it, Right, and you want it to add short pages, long pages. That's got to go in there. 
short pages, long pages, whatever it may be. What you need to do with these tabs, right? You put, um, you start off, well, I would go four and then I would go three, four, three, because they're strong. Like, really, this is strong. That's not going to come away, guys. So you don't need as many as you think. So I reckon four, you'll get away with it. Otherwise, you're going to have too much tabs. All right, like I said, because I used fabric, it was a little challenge, you know, using fabric as it can be. Oh, that's stuck to that too. See, you got to let them dry. Ugh. That's why um, it's hard doing a video of these because I normally would have let this dry. I'll just pull that out so it doesn't wreck it. Beautiful, hasn't wrecked it. And I showed you how to do, you know, little notches. And the best thing to do, guys, is ink them. You're less likely to have issues if you ink them. Um, before you put them on and number them so you know where your pages are going to go and which is number at the top so you know they're going to the top you know what I mean I tried to keep the video as simple as possible because I have seen some tab ones and honestly they are hard you know hard to get it in your head how you should be doing it so, oh, I might have cut too much of that one. It don't matter. I just cut a little bit of more of this one to make it even. And that should do it. There. And then we'll work. We're working on this one. All righty. All righty. Let's start on the front cover. I'm going to do something similar to what I've got. Um... And I like sewing, guys. So, I like sewing. Um, I like looking at bases to put underneath first. So, I'll just get stuff from here. Yeah, Tim, whole stuff I've got lots of, right? So, whatever I can use to attract that front page, um, I will use it. I'll take that out and find me a print and a couple of butterflies because I love the old butterflies. But anyway, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, liking, commenting. You just make my day, guys. You absolutely make my day. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I like these pins. I might use them. I might use that bit of fabric. I'll keep those out. Um, I really want... Um, I don't know what I want. You, I just know I want something, and you know when it's not there. And I, I don't honestly prepare for these videos, guys, because it's pointless me preparing. Look at all these things. Oh, I love them, and I love the um, supply of Tim Holtz, which helps you be very creative. Um, it's just costly, you know what I mean? But now I've got too much, and I need to use it up. So I'm just randomly pulling things out that I think I will use for my front and back. I still haven't decided what to put. But it's none of that stuff, right? Oh, now that's talking. And that's what you do, you know. Let the um, pictures and that speak to you. Because that's what I like to do. That flower. There's a lot of little bits here that I really like. So I might just pull them out, right? And let's put her together. We'll put one together. I'm just keeping it simple. Um, it doesn't need to be hard. Um, I need some cheesecloth because oh, I work best with cheesecloth. Oh, I've got more tin holes here. Holy moly, guys. So, 
I like my cheesecloth right when I'm layering a cover. Um, simple reason why. I just like the way it looks. And I'll probably sew around my cover. I won't do it online. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to layer it. So I'll probably cut that much. It might be wasteful. Doesn't matter. It will get used. Um, so I'm going to trim that off and leave the rest hanging because we don't know what we're putting down yet. Oh, in here I've got lots of pictures and stuff if the one I picked doesn't work for me. You know, um, whether it's the right size or not, what we get is a different story. But you can always cut them down. You know what I mean? Like you can always cut them down or... I love her, but she's not quite big enough. Um, what else is in here? There's plenty. <laughs> There's plenty. You might have to use the one I actually picked. But, you know, this will go to waste if I don't use it. That's what I figure, guys. And that's why I want to have a look, play, and see what's actually going to work. Um, so be patient with me, please. Because it's not something I like rushing, you know, when I'm doing a front cover. And I hope you are the same. Be patient with yourself. Gosh, I've got lots, lots, lots here to choose from. I'm trying to get it out. Okay. Um... The stuff that's not Tim Holt. So that's a family portrait. It might be okay. I do pick a lot, a few, guys, because I like to, I don't know about you, but I like to sort of um, see what something's going to look like before I put it down, right? That might be too big. I don't know. I don't know. I've got stuff that isn't Tim Holtz, but I just wanted to make it Tim Holtz, guys, because I know I won't use half this Tim Holtz stuff unless I make project specifically Tim Holtz. I mean, I still use other stuff. Don't get me wrong. Let's try uh, what we've got. This is too long, right? And there's no way I can cut that to make it look good. I can cut that back, though. Um, first of all, I want to lay a foundation. You know, that's me. And I think I'm going to stick to that one. I don't know about that. But I like something that's got something, you know, a bit of oomph to lift out my page. Um, um, let's see what's in here. Oh, my God. Excuse me a minute, guys. Oh, I'm just... Golly, golly, gosh. This is why I like these bits and pieces, right? Because I know I'm not going to use them for anything else but these sort of projects. Now, that's too light. Hang on a minute. There's something here that might be good. And this is what you keep doing. You're just going to layer like so. Um, I don't know if that looks right even. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see what else I've pulled out here. So I did pull out a lot of stuff, didn't I? Oh, here we are. We're going to change our mind. I'm going to like. I like that. Just... Be mindful, I am going to cut. Um, see, I won't need all that, guys. So this is what I do. I chop. And then what I do, I will probably stick that to that. Um, also, what I like to do is add 
something like so. Then I like to, oh, because I'm using Tim Holtz. I've got to really, really look for bits and pieces to suit my project, right? I actually like this. I just noticed something here that might be even better than what I've got. Oh, that way. And don't stress because it's a no waste. Oh, look, that looks better. So I'm going to cut that in half. And I can use either side, right? Like so. Or you look at the other part and go like so. And I like to ink that, which, whichever one I use. So I'm going to use that one. I'm not sticking it down yet. Because I'm just always mindful when I'm working with bits and pieces not to stick things down. Because it's got to be sewn anyway. And I want it to, not because it's going to be sewn, I want it to sit correctly, right? So, no. And you see why I'm just playing with it? Now, I'm going to lift that up and go like so. And that looks quite good, but we're trialing things out. Ah, oh, that looks good. Or we can do it like so. No. Um, or maybe go this way. That actually looks good too. But I like the rose. So this is what you do here, guys. You snip it in half. Oh, where's the one I was using? You snip it in half and then you stick that down because you want that. All right. So maybe I should start gluing. Do you know, I left the glue undone when I did this project last night. So we're going to glue just here a bit and put that together first because we know it looks right. We like it. And we're going to plan how we want it to look. Like so. And we like that ticket. So we sit it on the ticket. And we're going to glue here. A little bit of glue. You don't need much because you're going to be sewing around it. If, for those that aren't sewing around it, it doesn't matter. Like so. So we've picked that up. We want to pick that up. So we glue here. I hope I'm taping. This is slow, guys, because when I do something like this, I want it to be like, um, so you get what I'm trying to do. Like so. And then... Remember that one we tore away? We might stick that down here. But first we've got to see what it's like. No. So it might be for here. Hang on a minute. We've got to fix that. Now, I don't know. I don't know. And this is where you just muck around. There you go. So you're going to put that down over the photo like so right now this is not even nowhere near complete yet because i like to add more stuff and this is the beauty about playing you've got time to add more things so i want to add that little pin um you don't have to I just like to, you know what I mean? What else have I got? I've got so much bits and pieces, guys. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, some of us are lucky that we got the bits and pieces to add. And I really like stamps, guys. 
So if you've got real stamps, use them. So I might put that like so. And I might use... I need a bit of lace for up here. This is this is me. I like dressing things up and I like colour. I like adding bits and pieces. But the lace might have to be just glued down, right, after I've sewn it. I'm just giving you ideas of ways to do this. So I'm going to put that like so. It needs something. Can you see how it needs something? Maybe it might need that flower there. No. No, 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 no. Like I said, I like playing. Oh, I know what it needs. I know what it needs, guys. And, and this is the thing. Just play and play and play. I love adding stuff like that. So, we haven't stuck that down yet because we're not sure. But I'm thinking we're going to add colour because we want to brighten it. I hope this is helpful to you. You can do this with any other stuff. I don't know if I like that. I think I'll get a label and cut a label out as a... Um, as a, what do you call it? It's just finding the right one. And don't worry, if, just find a digital kit or something like so, you know what I mean? This has just grabbed my fancy and I don't know if it will look good, but we're going to try that. We're going to put it. And all those bits and pieces you've trimmed off, keep them. Like so, and then like so. How's that, guys? So because we really like that label, we're going to trim that down and keep the other side because you're going to use it, right? How cool is that? We're going to stick that down. I hope this video, you like it, but... um. This is how I know to do things for myself, you know, like trying to make them, um, make things stand out. Whoopsie daisy, like so. Now we need that there. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking and thinking and thinking, guys. Oops. That might be good like that. No, I don't like it. But I might like that if I cut that off, let's see. I do. So, we get this and we're going to chop it there. And we're going to put... Let's see if that would look good that way. Yes, it would. We're going to do that and that. No measuring or nothing because you don't need to. Which side do I like? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're both the same, both sides. And if you want to, go around inking. I didn't ink, right? Sometimes I just don't. You know, I don't even think about inking. Like so. And then I'm going to put... Um, a grommet there or a grommet there I don't know but see all those layers and then that will get stuck down and we need some lace to finish it off so we're going to put this down halfway right I don't stick it right down halfway and we might have a dash of color I want to put a grommet on there. Ah, oh, where's my, my grommets are here? Oh. I hope you're liking it so far. Um, like I said, I try and keep things as simple as possible, but being adventurous at the same time, 
I just feel that's what works for me and you've got to do what works for you. You know, I like layers, guys. Layers create projects. So, I've got to be mindful that I'm not sewing on there and I'm not. So, we're going to put the grommet down. Oops. And we're going to find a bit of lace. I'm going to make sure I've got it in the middle. I don't always check because I'm not one of those people. It's going to look good anyway. I love metals, guys. So I'm going to use metals in my stuff, whether it's grommets, these little things. Um, oh, there you go. Look how dressed up that is already. I might get a bit of ink and ink around it. Like I said, it does need something there. So we'll find something for there um, in the minute. Um, what am I going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink it first, right, before we do any more. And then we might find some lace. This is taking longer than I thought, but guys, I don't plan my videos, so be mindful. My videos are never planned. I just um, do them. See how that makes a difference? Then I'm going to sew it after. That will make a big difference. Okay. Where's that? Where's my cheesecloth? Where did it go? <laughs> Is that it? No, that's not it. I must have dropped it. We've got to find the cheesecloth. I know that much. Can you see it? I'll just move that out of the way a bit. I'll just see if there's anything else I'd like to add. Um, yeah, there is. There is, there is, there is. And then we're going to hunt up some lace. And I might just do that, guys. See how it sort of breaks it up? So we're going to bring it like so and like so. So all I'm going to do is glue the bottom. So a lot of pieces you're saying, but you know what, guys? It just, you want that cover to actually literally pop off your page. See, I haven't hid the words because we don't want to. And I'll find that cheesecloth and we're going to, is it amongst this? No. I don't want to cut another one. I'll just find that lace down here. I'll just move that one out of the way. I've got baskets everywhere, guys. You know, when I create, I don't bother, um, you know, like putting things um, out on the table because I don't actually know what I'm doing till I'm doing it. You know, some people like creating things different to that and that's fine um i just don't do it no i don't want that one it just doesn't look right i've got another bit of laces here i'm just gonna grab it oh here's my cheesecloth it was on the floor and then we're nearly done guys when you see the lace i don't know what lace to put on it but i'll have a look we've got lots of bits and pieces that we can look at you know, it's about sort of putting things down and not overthinking. So we'll put the cheesecloth down. I'm not gluing it on at this stage because, like I said, I've got to sew. Whoops. That barely there glue sticks really fast, guys. Okay, like so. And now we're going to get some lace. And what I like to do is just get something nice. This is already torn, so I'm going to use some of it. And I don't want it to be overly laced, you know what I mean? Because it doesn't need that. 
So I'm going to cut into it a bit and maybe, no, it doesn't even need that much. doesn't even need that much. Like so, like so. And that can be stuck down there. That can be on the top of it. And then we just need a little pin. I like adding and adding and adding till I achieve what I want. I don't want to hide that. So I'm going to move it to just there. And we're going to get something else and we're done, guys. I'm going to sew around it off camera. And then I'll come on tomorrow and add pages, you know, do some pages with you. Because I've got to fill my time in till I complete um, uh, this um, challenge. Because oh, do, I'm doing Junk Journal July. So I'm uh, thinking I might come in and do, I don't know, a few days a week or something of videos to keep me in the loop to do Junk Journal July. Because I know me, if I don't craft... Um, I lose my confidence quick and that's not what we want to be doing when we're going to do Junk Journal July. New subscribers won't know, but I did the 100 day project and um, how cool is that? So there's our little cover, guys. Um, like I said, I want to keep this going. Um, for the next couple of weeks but I just think this is quite cute hang on I'll just I want to fix it properly so you can see because I want to sew around it I don't want to stick that down yet but there you go there's our project and then I'll fray the um, cheesecloth and it just pops off the page, doesn't it? Thanks, guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing. See you tomorrow. Bye.